Hey guys, my name is Aaron and this is Dad.0. Oh. So TP-Link was kind enough to send over their brand new TP-Link AX5400, also called the Archer AX73. This is a dual band Wi-Fi 6 router and they asked me to review it. This router was released on April 10th of 2021, but I have had it for roughly three weeks now. So full disclosure, they did send this to me, but like all my reviews, they are not paid for or influenced in any way. This is my honest opinion of this router after using it for a couple weeks. So I'm gonna try to cover everything in this review. I'm gonna try to cover the design, the features, the setup, and the performance. But at any point, if you wanna skip ahead, check out the chapters that I built into the timeline below to get to the stuff that you wanna see. All right, taking a look at the design of the Archer AX73, it has more of your traditional type of router design with kind of that boxy base and the six antennas that surround the sides and back. Now you can move these antennas in different directions to point your signal in whatever direction you need to. And this is helpful for people that can't put their router in the middle of their house. Maybe you have to put it on one side or the other. So being able to point those antennas in different directions is very helpful. Now the router is all black. The top of it does have kind of a cool pattern design that also works as ventilation. And then there's kind of this sideways rectangle type of design on top of that that has the TP-Link logo on it. The router measures in at 10.73 inches by 5.8 inches by 1.9 inches and it comes in at 1.46 pounds. On the back of the router you have your inputs, you have a power input, a power button to turn it on and off, a gigabit WAN port, four gigabit LAN ports, a reset button, a Wi-Fi on and off button, a WPS on and off button, a USB 3.0 port on the side, and an LED status light on and off button. And this is a nice addition because there are quite a few status lights on the front of this seven in total so the ability to turn those off so that they're not shining at you all night is very nice so overall it's a very traditional design for this archer ax73 it's not going to turn anyone's head when they see it but it also doesn't look cheap either and compared to some of the higher end gaming routers out there this one has a little bit smaller footprint which might make it easier to fit onto a shelf for features of this Archer AX73, again, it's a dual band Wi-Fi 6 router capable of producing 5.4 gigabytes per second. You can connect over 200 devices without buffering. It has a powerful 1.5 gigahertz triple core processor. It has WPA3 security encryption. It is capable with TP-Link's One Mesh product line. It is universally compatible with basically all internet service providers out there. You have parental controls, home shield protection, and a bunch of other features on this Archer AX73. Now, a lot like other TP-Link routers, this one is very easy to set up. Using the TP-Link Tether app, you simply connect the Archer AX73 to power. You insert your ethernet port from your modem. You then download the Tether app from either the App Store or the Google Play Store. Once it's downloaded, you create an account and then you begin the setup of the router. Now, once the router is connected to internet and powered on, it'll start to broadcast a signal that you can connect to through your phone. You then go back to the Tether app and complete the setup process by creating a password to access the router, and then you start to create your network. You can name your network, set a password, and then you're pretty much done. Now you can go into the settings and kind of toggle with different settings if you wish, but to initially set up your network, it took me five, six minutes tops. And once the setup is complete, you can use the Tether app to monitor your system and your network. You can see what devices are connected to it, how your system is performing. You can toggle settings, parental controls, and a bunch of other options. And the Tether app is very user-friendly. Even for those with no networking experience at all, you should be able to navigate this app, no problem. All right, so that kind of covers the design, the features, and the setup of the router. Let's talk about the performance. Again, I've been using this for about three weeks in my home, so I feel I can give you my initial review of it. Again, three weeks is definitely not long-term for a router, so make sure that you subscribe and come back because I will do a follow-up in a few months. But for my initial review, I'll be honest and say that I was not expecting this router to hold up against some of the other tri-band gaming Wi-Fi 6 routers that I've reviewed in the past. I was expecting slower speeds and less range compared to those higher-end routers, but to my surprise, 
my speeds didn't drop at all. And that's comparing it to a gaming router that cost twice as much as this Archer AX73. With my gigabit fiber internet, I can get around 500 megs per second download speeds and 600 megabits per second upload speeds over Wi-Fi in the same room as this router. And that's very impressive because I live in a very congested Wi-Fi area. So if you live in an area that's not quite as congested, you might be able to get even faster speeds than that. And if I go a couple rooms away, I'm still seeing 400 to 500 megabits per second download speeds over Wi-Fi. If I go downstairs where I always have a weak signal, I can get 300 megabits per second if I go in my yard, I can still get 200 megabits per second in any location in my yard. And range seems to be very good as well. Now, again, range is going to kind of depend on your home's layout and the type of materials involved here. But like I said, I can get 200 megabits per second in the farthest point in my yard, which the signal has to travel through three interior walls and an exterior wall. It seems to handle traffic very well too. Now our family streams everything. We stream live TV, we stream YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, and my wife and I both work from home. She's on a lot of Zoom calls. I'm uploading and downloading videos a lot for this YouTube channel along with my other work. So we constantly have multiple devices demanding a lot of internet. And so far we have experienced no buffering, no drops in signals or coverage, and we've had consistent speeds over the last couple of weeks. And for me personally, consistency is what sets routers apart from one another. As someone who has had a lot of routers, I've had many that would drop signals or not handle traffic well, and that is extremely frustrating. And now it's more important than ever, with so many people working from home, our careers basically depend on having a reliable access to internet. So, so far, I'm very happy that this Archer AX73 from TP-Link has been reliable, but again, three weeks is far from a long-term review. So again, come back for that longer-term review in a couple months. But for now, I think it's easy to recommend this for anyone with a medium to small size home or apartment. And at $199 US, it's a great entry into Wi-Fi 6 without having to spend four or $500 for those real high-end gaming routers. So if you're interested in the Archer AX73, I will put a link in the description below where you can get more information or purchase it if you want. I really appreciate everyone who watched to the end of this video. Make sure you press that like button and subscribe for more content I'm coming out with soon. And I will see you guys on the next video.